Hello and dwarves, welcome to Let's Fix Computers. Uh, we've got a Samsung RF511 here with a uh, broken charger jack. So as you can see, our fellas are all messed up. So uh, we're gonna strip this apart and replace the charger jack. This one is a bit more interesting because unfortunately Samsung are bad and do uh, solder in their charger jacks. They don't have them on nice little fly leads like m pretty much everyone else does these days. Um, so uh, this one's gonna be a little bit more tricky. I'm gonna try and hot air this one. Normally, I, as you've seen in my previous videos, I make a bit of a dog's dinner on charger jacks. It, they're not my strong point. Uh, however, this time I'm gonna try and hot air it and see if I can actually do a genuinely clean replacement. So uh, let's see how that goes. First thing I've gotta do is strip the laptop down and get the motherboard out. So we're gonna go onto the fast forwardy bit and get, that, get it all apart. Oh, you horrible thing. Arrow on the case means there's a screw there. Because apparently, ugh, Samsung are sadistic. Yeah. I hate manufacturers who hide screws under feet. HP are the worst for this, but yeah. Looks like it, Samsung are not above that either. There we go. We are. So there's our charger jack. So it looks like we've got to take all the cooling system and everything out for this. Let's keep going, keep digging. Okay, so as previously mentioned, I'm gonna try and hot air out the, the old connector first. Um, and I'm not sure how well this is gonna go, so we may abandon this halfway through. We will find out. So it's gonna take a lot of heat to get this off because it's a big metal connector. So I'm gonna start out from afar and we're just gonna build up the heat around the area first and just warm that section of the board up. And then we're gonna go in a bit closer and actually try and melt that off. So we're going, uh, we're going max temperature, max air for this. Okay, so we're at about 100 degrees there now. Let's go for the melt. I probably need a bigger nozzle to do this, but I'm just gonna see if this works. Oh, we're losing the connector, the plastic's going. I'm rapidly losing faith in this method. Oh yeah, the solder's on its way out. I need a better method to grab it though. I'm just gonna back out slightly and get some pliers. I think I need a third hand though. Let's just see if I can elbow this. Elbow on the board, seems safe. There we go. Thank you. Lovely. Okay, so that would have worked if I'd had some kind of board holder. Okay. Um, however, we're good. So now we're gonna warm up the soldering iron 
and clear those holes and then we can go in with the new one. So look at that, we got the old one out without having to dremel it apart like I normally do. Man, the label on this Seagate Barracuda hard drive cap that I'm using is boss. The heat's at 480 degrees C and that label is not coming off. I thought I was gonna melt the label off this time around. It's a tough hard drive. <laughs> We go. We've got some nice, nice clear holes there now, and we're ready for our replacement DC jack. Overnight parts from eBay, and because we've cleared all of those holes, that's just going to press into place. So I'll just use a pair of pliers just to give them a little bit of encouragement. <laughs> oh, how's that? Oh uh, no, when you put your finger on the other side of the board and you're like, no, right into the thermal paste. There we go. So we've pressed our new DC jack into the board. And as you can see, because we cleared all those holes, it's perfect. So now we can just solder those pegs all in. There we go, one new DC jack. There's still a bit blobby on that solder. It didn't flow very well. Let's just re redo those. Take a bit of the excess off there. That'll do. Those joints aren't dry and they're gonna anchor it properly. Now, we'll just tidy up the cooling system on this before we fit it back to the board. I don't believe it. It's not a chip, it's a block of rubber. It's a block of rubber just to hold the cooling system in place. Oh. But they put thermal paste on it. You know, because you've got to cool down your rubber block. <laughs> I was just scrubbing away at that going, why isn't this coming clean? <laughs> God damn it. Not only has the plug for this fan stayed in the board, but also it's a three pin fan going into a four pin plug. So now I need to review my previous footage to see where it goes. Okay, the end pin stays empty.
Okay, I think we are ready for our bottom case. So that goes on like that. just before we put the fiddly screws back in, we're just gonna power this up and make sure it works. So let's grab a Samsung charger. Okay, right. Charger connected. We have green light. And let's just check that we have post as well, just in case. There we go, beautiful. Let's put the last of the screws in and then we're done. And there we have it, we're all done. So thank you very much for watching everyone. I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.